say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, today's video, we're gonna be here for a good time, but not a long time. We don't have much to look at today, but I am so excited I finally got these in the mail. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, stay a while, become a member of the Banana Peppers Squad. Also, don't forget, check out the links in the info box down below. It will take you to our Pop Sockets and to my Snapchat show that I upload every Monday and Thursday. Anyway, you guys, today we are gonna be taking a look at something that I was so excited. I actually saw this on Instagram Reels. They are tiny miniature TVs. We're gonna do some size comparisons today, but I feel like these would be perfect, like, within your mini brands collection. Even though this is not mini brands brand, this is by the company Basic Fun. Right now, they have four of these miniature TVs. They're called Tiny TV Classics. I think that they have one from the 60s. I think they just skipped the 70s. The 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. So weird that they skipped the 70s, honestly, because I feel like the 70s is kind of having its like a revival a moment, right? What this is, is a tiny working television set. So each of these TVs, they come with a little remote. And I guess I started saying the whole bit about classics. A, to preface you guys, what is playing on these tiny TVs? And also because the actual TVs themselves look different based on what miniature, not what miniature TV, miniature TVs was not a thing until like just yesterday. Well, I guess they did. They had like the little like black and white emergency TVs. Oh my God, I remember good times with that when I was a kid. I used to like take my little miniature black and white TV in the back of my parents' station wagon and I would watch things like The Wizard of Oz as I was sitting in the Whataburger to go line. Um, anyway, miniature TVs. They all look like a TV style from that era, that generation. So I will put a picture in here of the 60s one that has classic episodes of Batman loaded on it. The 80s one, this is definitely the one I was most excited about. So this is the one we're gonna open first. And this one has Back to the Future loaded on it. That's where this is kind of confusing to me because the other two TV shows is South Park, which I think South Park started in the very late 90s and then obviously it's still going on right now. So maybe this is the modern one, actually. South Park was the other one I was really excited about. And then the other one that they have out is Friends. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this doesn't make any sense. So there's the diagram. This is like 50s and 60s. This they say is 70s and 80s. And this they say is um, millennial. Yeah, millennial. 2010s till now? You guys, what is going on? Okay, let's just open it up and I can stop trying. How many, God, six minutes and I've just been trying to work out what retro means in my head. I'm so excited to get these. I'm not sure if it's because it's gone viral on the internet a couple places or if people have just seen them and they're very excited for them. I feel like the whole miniature market now is really, really popular, you know, with like mini brands. And I feel like there's so many people who have now done these amazing dioramas, whole little like rooms. I saw somebody the other day that did a haunted mansion themed one. It was like the haunted mansion attic and it was a whole little miniature diorama. So many people take the mini brands and do a whole like grocery store with just aisles and aisles and aisles of mini brands. They build it out to make it look as realistic as possible. So I kind of feel like that's why these are so popular. I will tell you guys now, they are Walmart exclusive, but just pull up the Walmart website and just try and like refresh. Like I was keeping it on my phone and just kind of like refreshing throughout the day to see when stock was dropping. Cause I'm pretty sure these retail for like 22 or $24. And there are so many people selling them on like Macari for like $80, like $110, like, oh my gosh. So I think if you just kind of do what I did and just kind of like, you know, check back 
sporadically, periodically, then you should be able to find it as well. So this is the Back to the Future one, which I love, love, love Back to the Future. Um, I was so lucky a couple years ago when we went to MegaCon Orlando, I actually got to meet Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. They actually had like the whole cast of Back to the Future pretty much at Megacon, except for Megacon. That's the word I should have finished. Except for, do you know who was not there? Is Crispin Glover. That is just like top tier celebrity that I would like to meet. You know what I mean? And now I've seen this guy on TikTok the other day and he's like a Crispin Glover lookalike. It is so, it's, it's, it's wild. Anyway, anyway, this video off the rails as usual. You come here for a review, you get the rambling. So this is our adorable little TV. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. So it only looks like they're wheels. I do wish that it actually rolled for extra realism, but here is our big magical boxy retro TV with the antenna. This is the real working retro remote. How cute is that? Okay. <laughs> As usual, did I read the instructions? No. So it just flashed up. I am actually like really shocked by the picture quality. I actually really did not expect the scenes to be that long. See, when you do channel, it changes it through the different scenes. Wait, if I push channel down, oh, that's volume up and down. Oh my God, it even looks like a retro display. Okay, let me see if channel down. <gasps> that does take it to like the scene it literally was just playing. I'm trying to see how many. Oh, I don't think for like copyright reasons that I would be able to like play for you guys, like scenes in entirety or like thir certain theme songs. You guys, I can't talk. Um, so let's go ahead and open the South Park one. Like I'm kind of curious if you just let it play, like how much actual footage is on here versus like the runtime of the movies. Like what's the percentage of movies? What's the percentage of the amount of movie you see? Anyway, you guys, I thought I was like well rested and ready to form complete sentences today, you guys, but maybe not. So here is the South Park one. This one is actually listed as the 90s to 2000s TV, but in my mind, Friends is much more of a 90s thing and South Park is still on now. So that would have made a little bit more sense to me, but let me know, maybe I'm being too picky. Here is our beautiful 90s television, still very boxy. So it would be interesting to know if the millennial, you know, the modern television, would it be thinner? Because I feel like that was the whole thing with like the 2010s and stuff was like the flat screen TVs where your TV finally wasn't just a big giant box in your house. But I would imagine they just need like a certain amount of space in these little devices to put, you know, the speakers and the programming and everything else inside of it. So I don't know. Here is our TV. Here is our remote. So pretty different looking to me. That's so weird. It's almost like the first time you ever turn it on you have to push the power button on the side. I was wondering if the display was going to look the same or different based on the decades and the TV models. And it is different because I don't think that it had the channel display up in the corner. I mean, it definitely did make the same like static sound. Let's see what the volume display looks like. Okay, that's the same. Oh, so this will tell me too. 10, 11, 11. So it went up to 11. But see, now I can turn it on with the remote. But it's like the very first time you turn the product on, which it probably says this in the instructions that I never read. You, ca you can't seemingly turn it on with the remote control, but look at this. So 
in conclusion, I feel like these things are super adorable. If you are somebody that really loves miniature things, I feel like this would be perfect in a miniature collection. This is a great thing to have like around the house because it is just kind of like one of those novelty items that I feel like is kind of a conversation piece. I don't know how much if you owned this, like, would you regularly kind of like turn it on and flip through the channels? Because I kind of feel like if I just wanted to watch Back to the Future or South Park or something, I would just like actually turn it on. I'm really shocked by how well the screen looks. Well, and actually how long the scenes are, like they really seem to go on for a very long time. The sound is like kind of okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like the sound is a little bit better maybe on the Back to the Future one than the South Park one. I don't know if that's because maybe it seems like the Back to the Future one has much more dialogue. Whereas like the South Park one, it seems like they picked a lot of the musical episodes. So I feel like there's like more singing on this one and that like doesn't necessarily for whatever reason play as clearly to me. But I have, I have really bad ears. The only other thing I will say is I feel like the little remote controls are kind of hit or miss. Like, I feel like this entire video I've been saying the first time you turn it on, you have to push the button like on the side and then the remote forever works. But like, look, this is definitely the right remote and it's like not, it's not, it's not working. Oh, so that killed that theory because this is the Back to the Future remote. So see, that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's so weird. It's like the remotes kind of sometimes seemingly work and sometimes don't. You can always get 12 channels to play through on the Back to the Future one. There's technically 12 clips or 12 channels on the South Park one, but the first channel slash the intro like theme song only plays when you initially turn the device on and off. And then if you just channel scroll all the way through, it doesn't start playing the theme song again. This is way more of an in-depth review than anyone has ever asked for, for these little TVs. But like I said, I feel like there is such a big like reseller market with this that I feel like I kind of just wanted to give you guys like a full, full review. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I really, really especially wanted the Back to the Future one. And I almost bought it from a reseller on Macari just cause I wanted to, I, I really, I really, really wanted it. But now that I have it, like I, I think it's definitely worth like the $20 that is actually the price of the item, but I don't at all think it's worth like what some like resellers are trying to charge for it. Like I think if you paid $80 for this, you would be like really disappointed. But I feel like if you can just get it at Walmart, you would be super impressed. <laughs> and there's my two cents. Uh, I will be back again very, very, very soon until I am. If you'd like to be already and you're not subscribed, hit the button down below, subscribe. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!